Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to learn how you could go ahead and create your very own very first Android Studio project. So if you are using Mac operating system like I am then what you could simply do is that you could open up a finder and you could go to applications and here you will find the applications which we have installed on your computer. So as you could see this thing right here is Android Studio and you simply need to open that thing up and it's actually going to take a little bit of time for Android Studio to load up. Now if you are using a Windows computer then you could simply go onto the search bar and search for Android Studio and you will be able to find the Android Studio application on your computer as well. Now once you click on that icon as you could see you will get a small window like this and here what you need to do is that you need to start a new Android Studio project. So simply click on this thing right here and now the next thing which you need to do is that even before you start writing code you actually need to name your application. So in this case let's name this thing as my new app and if you'll notice when you name your application as something the package name automatically changes. So by default your package name is com.example.yourusername.youapplicationname and the main reason why package name is actually important is because your application is going to be distinguished from other applications depending upon your package name. So for example when you install this application on your mobile device what happens is that your mobile device actually distinguishes your app from other apps depending upon this package name. So it's okay for now if you name it as anything but when you're actually launching your app on the Play Store then make sure that you have a unique package name. So once this thing is done you simply click next and the next most important thing which you do need to remember here is to choose a proper target device. So as in this case we are developing apps for the phone and tablet what you could do is that you could select the phone and the tablet option and then after that you will have a bunch of API level options over here and what they essentially are is the target device which we are developing for. Now what you could do is that you could select the highest possible level over here so you could go with Jelly Bean or Noga for that matter but what we essentially want to do here is that we want to select an API level which is compatible with most of the devices and one more important thing about those API levels is that if you select an API level 15 that means your Android application is not going to work on devices which have API level below 15. So for example if you select the API level 15 which is ice cream sandwich then a device having gingerbread won't be able to run your application. So make sure to choose this thing wisely. So we will go with API level 15 which is Android 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich. So simply select that thing then you could click next and after this you actually need to select an activity for your app. Now if you don't know what an activity is, you can take example of a website. So a website is nothing but it's actually a collection of multiple web pages. So in a similar manner, in Android, your Android app is actually a collection of a bunch of activities. And you could consider an activity as the screen which appears in front of you when you interact with a particular app. So as you could see there are a bunch of options available in front of us to select multiple activities and here what you could do is that you could choose any of the activity which you want. So in this case we are going to go with the empty activity. So simply select that, click next and then you actually need to name your activity. So in this case I'll name mine as main activity itself and then finally I'll click finish. So once you click finish, it's actually going to take a while for Android Studio to load up your project. So this is what Android Studio is going to look like when you load your application for the very first time. So this is your activity right here. This is the code related to that particular activity and this is the design of the activity. So we have successfully created our very first project in Android Studio. So that's it for this lecture and in the next lecture what we will do is that we will go through the layout of Android Studio and we will try to understand what these things actually mean. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.